shall not pass. Chapter. A feeling of deja vu. The party advances. A steely-eyed ranger, a brutal barbarian, a ruthless ogre, a wizardess with fiery hair, an agile elf, a wily thief, a dwarf, well, you know, just a dwarf. Together they have just crossed into the terrible dungeon of Nahelbuk. This dungeon's nothing to write home about. Don't know what we'll find inside here, but it stinks. That's easy. The ogre just took a dump five feet from the door. I've got a strange feeling of deja vu. Because of the ogre shit? Have you been here before? I feel like I'd know if I had. Probably not. No one's ever got in here before. By the way, what is our quest? We must find the 12th statuette of Gladalfura. A statuette? It's written in the Tablets of Skellis that only a one-legged gnome from the northern forest, dancing by the moonlight in the middle of 12 statuettes wrapped in hair. <clears throat> As I was saying, only a one-legged gnome shall open the gates of Zaral back and thus accomplish the prophecy. But what is this strange prophecy? No idea. We're only in it for the gold. That's why we came here. Yeah, and I knocked before coming in. And I called you a half-wit. Okay, ah. let's all get along, okay? Let's focus on the statuette. Do we have any idea where it's located? Like every statuette, it's in a treasure room, guarded by a powerful warlock. Battle! Hmm, maybe his powers are even greater than mine. Sounds a bit right. What kind of monsters live here? So, if you look at the random encounter table, these are the monsters in this dungeon. Several kinds of undead, giant spiders, orcs and goblins. <laughs> goblins! Underground trolls, warlocks, cursed knights, mutant rats, a bottle of oil, some toilet paper, two sponges, and ravioli. I think you're also reading your shopping list. So no dragons, right? Nah, well above our level, Cap. Anyway, let us go forth. Halt! You arrived at a junction and must face three choices. Hmm, all those doors are closed and blocked off by a strange glowing seal. Weird. And I'm having another deja vu. Oh, shiny, pretty. Probably some kind of magic lock we have to dispel. No way we're getting f***ed over by some goddamn door. My cousin Krimli always says, if it's magic, hit it harder! No, wait! Ah, oh, my head. You f***ing mor- Where are they? Shit! Hey! Dwarf! Elf! Dang it! Did everybody get lost but me? What's that noise? Oh, damn it, an orc. And I'm alone, of course, I'm alone! This is the perfect opportunity to discuss the matter of combat, a crucial subject when adventuring in mysterious dungeons. Open door! Gotta go! Me eat bad, go tripe! No, I I'm not done! Go away, you meanie! Sounds like an elf. Anyway, be cool. He's alone. This shouldn't be a problem. This is, uh, yeah, he, he's, uh, I mean, they're gone. There were more than one? So many I couldn't even count them. But I killed one, which sent them all running. Are you all right? It was horrible. I found myself in these disgusting toilets. But where are the others? Uh, what's going on? It's because of that moronic dwarf. He must have triggered a magic trap. The whole party's been scattered around this floor. We need to find them. Um, how about we don't find the dwarf? <laughs> no, we'll need his axe if there are other orcs. Don't you think you could handle them by yourself? Yeah, that's... even the greatest heroes have their limits. Anyway, let's not hang around here.
Ah, here's the thief. Yippee! Plus, he's not the dwarf. Silence. You'll get us spotted. There are orcs in this room, and they've got bows and arrows. We need to devise a plan. Okay, I got a plan. You attack them while I stand guard, just in case somebody ambushes us. Mm, sounds like something a coward would say to avoid a fight. Absolutely not. It's very rational behavior. I've got a bow, too. I can shoot arrows. Yikes! Another good reason to take cover. When you're behind an obstacle, you're less likely to get hit. Even by friendly fire. Well, I've got no choice if we want to move ahead. We've got to get rid of those orcs. How many are there? I can only see one of them right now. But the others must be close. I got you. A group of one. I hate people who make a fuss over nothing. When fighting alone, charging head-on is fine. But when in a group, a battle must be planned. Careful positioning can save you from crushing defeats. potions class and that awful teacher with the greasy hair. Look out, it's a weirdo. Old dude with staff. A wizard! It looks more like a broom. Uh, hello? Hey, pay no attention to me. In fact, you shouldn't even be able to see me. It's just my invisibility ring acting up again. He's a wizard. He looks more like a janitor. Well, that's very reductive. I'm the head cleaning operative of this dungeon's mortuary maintenance, Janos Hitor. I deal with the corpses left behind by adventurers. The smell would get unbearable without me. Akala yum yum orkum. He's just gonna eat his orc if you don't mind. I don't. As long as the floor stays clean, and it means less work for me. Ew, I'm gonna be sick. We're looking for a way to the next floor. Usually, people like to take the stairs. Yes, but there are some magic locks. Really? Didn't notice them. I must be immune thanks to a spell of mine which enables me to go wherever blood has been spilt. We could make him take it to the dungeon, master. Yes, take us with you. Nuh-uh. No time for such threats. Got work to do. A wizard. That was a wizard. He realized he should withdraw with haste. Who's this haste guy? with my books. some vague chanting in the distance. Yeah, I think it's too quiet. This room might be trapped. Beware. We should find some other way. I don't listen to you anymore. You're a downer and you bum me out. I just have a- Kellen! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with all the shit talking? Put on them kissy buddies. Oh. oh, dang it. A trap. I told you so. You should have detected this trap. No one asked me to. What? You- well, it's official. I'm going to ignore the thief now. Anyway, now we're asking you. Would you mind looking out for traps, please? Well, I'll see what I can do. Don't get where we're wasting our time with this guy. Neutralizing a trap is a risky endeavor which could bring one to a gruesome end. I've got a bad feeling about this. Slowly pull on the latch. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, what the f is going on now? 
Welcome to the fabulous contestants of our show, The Wheel of Misfortune, hosted by our sponsor, Durandil Swords. With Durandil Swords, friend of all warlords. Talking goblin. Impossible. Huh. He must be half goblin. Yeah, but what species could look at a goblin and want to have its babies? Mix violence and alcohol and bam! Anything can happen. Here we have our squinty-eyed ranger, our headstrong barbarian, voracious ogre, an almost but not quite wizard, a gawky elf, a chicken shit thief, and a dwarf. You know, just a dwarf. Welcome, dear contestants. Have a go at our wheel and discover your destiny with our sponsor, Gut Helm Helmets. With a Gut Helm Helmet, you can ransack an entire kit. There's loot to be made, we should trade. We'll kill him after. Come on, I'm giving this shit a spin. Wait, wait, wait. Be careful. This game could be cursed in some way. Great! Our friendly contestants just won 5,000 gold coins, courtesy of our sponsor, Gorzine Detergent. Gorzine, to scrub gore and beans for battles and cuisine. Epic! Yeah! And since we're not stingy, we'll throw in some healing for the entire party. Uh, I do have some split ends. Hmm, it sounds too good to be true. This won't end well, I'm sure of it. We'll take another spin. More, more gold, again! Don't be afraid. Have a good, strong spin. You can never lose with our sponsor, Lorleanne's Shampoos. That is a good shampoo. Yeah, but I'm not sure it can help us untangle this mess. No, what a stroke of bad luck. You just lost all your previous winnings. What? Did we lose everything? Poor rapscallion. The skin you and I give our money back! Come on, don't fret. You can decide to stop playing now or go for one last spin. But I must warn you, the consequences could be dire. It's not such a good idea to keep going. This seems to be rigged. No, just one more. I'm going to win it. I can feel it. Good coins. They're calling to me. Calling to He's me! Totally lost it. Come on! Great! Our brilliant contestants win the highest prize on the Wheel of Misfortune, a formidable magic amulet, brought to you by our sponsor, Luzax Insurance. Magic item. That's useful. Well, that's it. Is it made of gold at least? Can we sell it? Give it to me. Whoa, 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 but you'll have to earn such a coveted prize. It comes with a challenge, a fight to the death, courtesy of our sponsor, the Decorative Caskets Factory, Necro Rame. What? Let's rock! Oh, crap. Well, I'm signing off, but let's hope to meet again soon. Now back to the studio with our sponsor, Easy Dungeon. With Easy Dungeon, you'll be home for luncheon. We got him good. Easy. Uh, he's gone, and so is his wheel. Pernicious parsley pies. The only thing left of him is that amulet. It has the same symbol as that weird magic seal. Who gives a shit? It's made of gold. It's mine. Wait, magic items can be very dangerous. Who gives a shit? Whoa, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Help me! No! Oh, f Hey, dwarf! Get back here, or you'll make the elf happy. Good riddance. We've got to get that moron back and continue on our quest. Hello, noble adventurers. Would you be interested in some magication? Hi, are you a wizard? Oh, goodness me. I, I'd never. I'm a far magician. Pirin, Tobias Pirin, at your service. Far magician? What is that exactly? I create magical medications called magications. I'm specialized in magic pharmacopoeia called Pharmagic. Five, but what's it for? Does it actually work or is it bullshit? 
For example, I have amazing preparations for people who quit drinking or to get rid of hangovers. Adventurers tend to like those. This is a rather unlikely place for a shop, isn't it? Well, it's cheap. I got this spot for peanuts. I'm currently just settling in. Come back later. I'll show you some interesting magications at very affordable rates. Huh. I thought that no one had ever entered this dungeon before. Oh, quite the contrary. It's very popular. Who told you such things? Our sponsor. Some hooded guy we met at Twisted Vale. Yeah, typical hiring procedure for a party of beginners. Uh, say, by any chance have you seen a dwarf? He's sort of dwarf-like. Why are we looking for him? We're doing fine without him. No, I didn't see him. But if he's small, he could be sneaking by right under our noses. We're also looking for the third statuette of Gradual Fulcrum. No, the statuette of Gladradulfa. I thought it was the backhead of Rapadulfra. No, that's not it. It's... Oh, wait, our sponsor wrote it down on a piece of paper. Ah, the Twelfth Statuette of Gladilfera. Never heard of it, sorry. But you should ask around at the inn. Maybe someone will know about it. <laughs> yeah, right. An inn? In a dungeon? Come. An inn? Do they have ale? Some areas are open to the public. Take the stairs. You'll see for yourself. This is all a bit unnerving. Our victorious party travels forth in its quest for the statuette and their vertically challenged companion, who disappeared after taking hold of a mysterious amulet. Second chapter, a beer, two curses, three companions. After a pretty erratic start in the dungeon of Nahulbuk, our adventurers end up in a rather strange bar with a thirst for fresh glory and honorable ale. Or is it the other way around? Yep, it's an actual tavern, open to the public. <laughs> Crazy. This dungeon is so weird. We should ask around. Maybe someone's seen the dwarf. Remind me why we would want to look for him. Because in our party, no one gets left behind. Hi. Uh, hello? Looking for a dwarf? Maybe. Nope. Then which one do I listen to? The scruffy half pint or the dimwit and flip-flops here? Indeed, we have a dwarf companion. He's gone missing. I've been hired to find a dwarf. Maybe it's the same guy. I'd be surprised we just got here. Never mind that. Who hired you? The dungeon master? As if. It was the co-op running this dungeon. There's an evil dwarf stealing stuff, mostly gold and ale. They want him dead. A co-op? Well, this just keeps getting weirder. And what's this about an evil dwarf? Ours isn't evil. Let's forget this weirdo and a rant about dwarves. Spin your head, salad brains. I like a breeze. Now shut up, everybody. You all help me take him down and we'll split the loot. It's tempting, but we're really, you know, busy. Yeah, just admit you're chicken. Forgot your butt bravery and your other pair of pants. I remembered everything. We even have a lighter. In any case, this could be interesting. Might be linked to our dwarf. Why do you say our dwarf? He's not mine. I'm not sure we can trust her. This one seems to be a paladin of Judge Judy. Those guys only serve justice, thus they cannot lie. Okay, enough yapping, dumbasses. We'll set up an ambush in the basin room. It's in the west wing. Now move it. Hey, I'm the one who says that stuff. I'm the leader and... Ah, oh, shit. Um, what's this about a leader? Hello, what's your order? Isn't this tavern kind of weird? Nahalbuk's Inn is renowned throughout the land of Fang. Our specialty is beer and bear stew. Calm. Akala, yum yum, gurgis. Uh, statuette, um, buy me a drink and I'll tell you where they're hidden. He wants to know why his mouth smells like an old dustbin. Yeah, uh, uh yeah, um, uh, drink, um... Uh, obviously, uh... What? I smell a lot of sweat. Uh, buy me a drink. That should wash it off. Forget it, you're drunk. You bougie bastard. A statuette. Oh, the cocktail with rum in it. I love those. <laughs> Here you go, free retail. It's in your butt. <laughs> oh.
Money must flow. I hope this is a worthy investment. Do I give him the gold now? Hey you, where do you think you're going looking like a bunch of bums? Well sir, I bid you to hear that we're awaited inside, my good man. Ha! Well, uh, nice job hiding your tentacles. What? Uh, only rich people, powerful wizards and famous artists can get in here. Precisely. We come in the company of an elven artist. Yes, I'm talented with both my voice and the flute. Sorry, clowns aren't allowed in. Wait, we also have a powerful wizard. Yes, um, I've mastered the arcanes of wizardry. Yeah, right. You still have the robes of a novice in acne on your schnoz. Go on, get! You're polluting the money bag's air. That was the solution. Strange. It must be a trap. It's this way. More dwarves here than there are pretzel sticks. Wow, does that mean there are pretzel trees? We'll bait them out. We just need to set some gold or ale on this thing. Good, now we wait. Ready up your weapons and spells. The axe that strikes back. Duran deal. Do 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 do. Hey, finders keepers. I cannot tuk tuk buddy. Huh? Right, old buddy. He looks exactly like his evil. Hey, you bastards! You abandoned me here. Left me to die like a fly in Yakakstrom. What is he talking about? I don't know. Looks like he's dead. Oh, <gasps> maybe it's the amulet. A trick worthy of a coward. <clears throat> Deception is the better part of valor. Payback time. I'll rip your guts out with an oyster fork. Enough talk. Take him out. 
Do you think it'd be that easy? <laughs> Vengeance! Seriously? Seven of these dwarves now? And they all stink! Anyone calls me Snow White, they get a smack in the head! Seven dwarves shall have their revenge! You regret coming down here.
without a sound. Sup? Ha! I was feeling too. Well, it tastes bad. Reminds me of my granny's soup. Well, congrats, morons. Justice has been dealt. Didn't think you could pull your weight. Thought I'd just be using you as meat shields. Hey, that's mean! We could have been hurt! What the f that's what the hell is going on? It's like going through a troll's latrine. I've been through the ringer! Ah, we must have lifted the curse by destroying those abominations. <laughs> That'll teach you not to pick up amulets. See? I wasn't bullshitting you. I must say, I misjudged you. Well, then maybe you'd like to team up. We're looking for a cursed statuette. Not right now. Gotta collect the bounty. I'll find you as soon as I have the gold. We'll talk about your statuette then. In the meantime, go to the VIP room at the inn. Always full of wizards and money bags. Wizards, huh? Do you think they could give us some intel? Never know if you don't ask, right? Worst case, they don't talk, you table stomp their faces in. Well, see you later with the loot, dorks. She doesn't forget me, but us. I think she'll keep her word. Paladins can't go around breaking oaths, especially when they serve justice. What an awful life. How do they ever manage to stay true to their word? Yeah? Care to elaborate on that one? Later, maybe. Pinky swear. Look, the amulet is still on the ground. Let's go to this VIP room. Maybe there'll be poets and musicians. And some decent ale. We can plunder. We'll see about that, but try not to be so dense. Everyone ready? Let's go forth. <laughs> 